Meet VIP. VIP is a 35-year-old, 435-pound silverback gorilla at the Woodland Park Zoo. As one of the gorilla exhibits three males, he is the head of a family of four. Father, mate, and protector, he is truly the center of his family. Unfortunately, something seemed to be bothering VIP. He had a nasal discharge. Not uncommon. People get the same thing. It doesn't mean anything serious always, but it can be an indication of a problem that's developing that's not going to go away without some significant intervention. Round after round of antibiotics seemed to do nothing for his condition. With no results, the Woodland Park Zoo reached out for help. At one point we decided it was time to actually call in the experts and we called the University of Washington. With the aid of Dr. Greg Davis from UW Medicine. We're going to inject a little bit of local. You'll see a bump in his heart rate. It was determined that VIP had a severe sinus infection and that he needed surgery. I get a Takahashi. The preparation for this surgery is like every other surgery. You have to know the anatomy. So to learn the anatomy, we needed a CT scan of a gorilla skull. And, and Kiki, a gorilla who was here at the Woodland Park Zoo, passed away. and. The zoo donated that skull to the Burke Museum at the University of Washington. So this is Kiki the gorilla, and we did a CT scan of the skull. And that was done about a day before we ended up doing a CAT scan on Veep. And so having that information of a CAT scan of a gorilla skull was priceless to understand how similar their anatomy was to the human sinus anatomy. Dr. Davis performed the endoscopic surgery with support from UW Medicine, the Woodland Park Zoo, and several companies that donated equipment. It's just a, a nice partnership between corporate America, university, academic centers, and then the, the zoo. It was a vortex of generosity and a vortex of opportunity. We didn't really cut any corners to do this procedure. It was the same level of care that a human would have received for the same condition problem. After four hours, Dr. Davis was able to clear out the infection and Vip was headed back to his family. All right, big guy, you can do it, you can do it. A couple months of medication and a small follow-up surgery later, Vip is breathing easy and feeling like himself again. At the end of the day, it's just another sinus surgery. It really is. It just happens to be in a different species. He's socializing. He's attentive to the adult females. He's attentive to his offspring. But seeing his female group, I mean, they rely on him. They're, they're a total family, and it stresses them out when he's not there. And the fact that he's back and socializing with his women and doing gorilla things, it's, it's great. And there's nothing better. I mean, this is one of the fun things about academic medicine, about practicing at UW Medicine. I'll never forget waking up the day of surgery and saying, today, I get to go operate on a gorilla. And that was really cool.